In this short video, I'm going to show you how to wireframe a Tableau dashboard. My name is Nicholas Kelly from Delivering Data Analytics. And to get started, like in any dashboard engagement, we have to understand who we're designing for and understand the questions they're asking, as well as what actions are they going to try and drive. So in this example, we're designing for a HR manager and all the questions are attrition related. And of course, this is a little bit further down the process in that we've already, uh, let's say, done some interviews, done some workshops, understand what the business needs are. And we've grouped these questions by type. And in this case, this is the grouping for attrition. So anything related to people leaving their organization, that's what this tab on the dashboard is going to deal with. The first question that they want to be able to answer is the what are the reasons for attrition? So what are the drivers of attrition? Next question, who is at risk of attrition? What is the cost of attrition? And then finally, often ask the, the what actions they want to be able to address. And in this case, uh, even though it's behind my shoulder, it says address the causes of attrition. So um, it's important to understand both the questions that they want to be able to answer, but also what action is it going to drive? Because that's really going to help us determine what's going to make it here onto the tab in our dashboard. So Let's get started. We know this is a attrition tab. So let's just call it attrition. And one of the first things we want to be able to ask our stakeholders is the data refresh rate. How often are they going to be refreshing their Tableau dashboard? And and you know, of course, it's a it's a multifaceted question, right? So um in this example, we're going to say weekly. Daily would be nice, but Let's say the data, the data infrastructure and performance just isn't there. So we're going to just put in weekly. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. The layout, the typical layout we end up using KPIs at the top, big numbers, basically, you know, these large numbers here, always you need uh, some level of context with the KPI. So um, just, just for example, we're showing a 7% uh, change month and month and uh, you know what's our target on our goal now these are all just you know examples on the board here um you know just tells you how to construct a story frame in your dashboard now we are using the uh, tableau chart cards of course so that's what we're going to be working with but uh, before we do that let's get into the kpis so some having a conversation with the end user we understand what their questions are so in as much as we can, we should have KPIs that relate to those business questions. So starting with that, let's go with, uh, let's look at the cost. So there, there's a question for what is the cost of attrition? What is the cost of attrition? So let's just drop in a, a KPI for the, the cost. And you know, sometimes you have to further qualify these. Well, what cost over what time? Uh, well, we went with uh, week on week change but it's the overall cost year to date. Okay, so that's what we're we're trying going to try and drive towards here. Now, uh, if the end user is in a position to be able to comment on when this KPI should change color, we can document that here as well. We just say, you know, when it goes uh, over 2 million, let's say. Right, they would just we want to make it red, we want to highlight it, we want to make it more obvious, whatever it is. Let's uh, look at an another one here. So we can say, okay, anything else related to cost um, risk? So who's at risk? Well, if, if we're doing a KPI, we can't just list the people of who are at risk, but we need some sort of percentage or, or indicator, right? So uh, what we'll do here is KPI percentage of people at risk. Again, we could write on the back, how many, uh, how many does it take? What percentage does it take for us to flag that as an issue? The, um, and another one we could look at potentially here is um, we could maybe think about predicted cost might be something we could look at. Predicted cost could be exciting. Um, it's highly actionable, right? So we could look at that and go, yeah, okay, we've got a, a, a serious predicted cost of attrition here. Um, that's something we might want to be concerned about. And maybe we also want to be thinking about how many people are we keeping, right? So if we have a retention a number here. That's something we can look at. So let's just check if we're answering our questions just from a very high level. What are the reasons for attrition? Well, we don't really have that. Uh, so that one's going to have to come in the form of a chart. 
who is at risk of attrition. We've got a high level perspective of that with our KPI percentage at risk. And what is the cost of attrition? We're giving two angles on that. We're giving the uh, historical year to date cost, but we're also doing a forecast our uh, projection cost. Okay, great. So we've got that. Let's look at the charts. Um, anytime we're talking about you know employees, um, which you know the, you might have a lot of employees in your organization. I like to think of scatter plots. Um, let's go look here. And you know some things we can think of if it's a large multinational, maybe you want to look at okay, well which locations first are at risk? You know, so we could maybe look at something like that. That's an idea. Another one is uh, look at look for the bubble chart. And Tableau has a nice bubble chart. So let's go pick that. We could do a scatter. Let's do a scatter. Okay, we'll use a scatter for now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put the geo one over here just just for just for reference to see if we might use it. And um, in this chart we could say, you know, who's at risk? And so, so let's just say who is at risk or at risk. employees and in this case you know a dot would be an employee and we could arrange this so that um, you know the y-axis is maybe salary sorry the x-axis so the further along they are the higher their salary and then we could do the y-axis can be uh, let's say risk Okay, so then what would happen here is a dot, in a, which is an employee on the top right, is someone who is a high salary at high risk of attrition. We could use color to indicate department, our geography, or um, something else. All right, so uh, some options for us there. Now, if we wanted that geo view, we could have that. But um, quite often, uh, since we are here talking about risk um, and reason, sorry, reasons for attrition. Let's see if there's something we can use here that we, you know, might give us. So that's an option, just looking at the Tableau options we have here. Um, this could be a good one. We probably want to invert the color sequence on that, but that could be a good one. Right, so just, you know, looking through these, and this is a, like, this is a good exercise to do with your stakeholders right is just talk through it and, and what does it mean right like if we use each one um does it answer your question and so now we're, what we're trying to do is answer the question for what are the reasons for attrition so i'm just going to go with uh, this one for now okay so i'm just going to say reasons okay and so um this would be count down the bottom and obviously reasons on the y Okay, so we got a quick, quick breakdown there. So I could like if I wanted to select, okay, I'm going to the most at risk, highest expense employees, I'm going to circle them. And I'm going to see, okay, well, based off who I've selected, I can see what are their reasons for attrition. So I can really drive down and start to focus and, and see what are the any trends, any patterns that might be interesting there. Uh, something to look at here as well is maybe the trend over time. How has that been? changing so are are these reasons a recent thing so we could do of course we could just do a line chart and we can do attrition trend okay excuse the atrocious handwriting and we could do count count on our y and on the X's, maybe last 12 months, last 24 months, maybe. We can get in some seasonality there. Okay. And, you know, finally, in this type of dashboard, when we're talking about, you know, we want to take some sort of action. And, um, you know, we need to get down to the weeds. Could be useful to have row level detail. And employee details. And here, you know, it would be a role level detail, uh, one for each employee that's being selected or filtered on. 
and it could give who's the supervisor who's the what department they're in right all those details you might need to have um, wrapping it up we've got some filters that would be fairly typical uh, for a hr manager so it's okay we'd want to see by department we'll be able to filter by department could be a chart you could argue could be a chart um, uh, but if you do go with a chart just then you don't need to go with the filter right it, but it really depends on on how it's going to be used uh, what's the level of employees and also then for hr span of control is interesting um see if there's any trends or patterns based on the number of people that are uh, under managers right by by the different quantities so let's just do a quick assessment that um that we're making sure we're answering all these questions what are the reasons for attrition okay we got those who is at risk of attrition got that what is the cost of attrition we have that in our kpis maybe it would be nice to have the uh, attrition trend maybe cost of attrition instead of the count of people attriting so that's something to consider and that's this is the purpose of doing a wireframe is we'll go talk to the end that the end users who are designing for it, the hr managers to see if this is like is this the way you want to represent it is there more or do we want to change these types of charts at all um and then um yeah and so we have the risks as well right so overall it does arm them with enough to to uh, take this action here to address the causes of attrition uh, but there might be different things we want to look at we've added in this historical trend um, that might help us dig deeper into the reasons right so maybe some of these reasons just are very recent whereas the trend would help us identify that so that's just a real quick overview of how you can design your tableau wireframes and uh, just making sure that you are designing for a certain persona, aligning that persona to the questions they want to uh, be able to answer, and then the action that they want to take.